500D, the deep chamber, single chamber vacuum machines. So as you can see, these vacuum machines, we have two opening, which is one at the top and another one at the side. So for the top cover, is actually made of alkalite, alkalite plate. So this is a new unit. If you are ready to use it, you can always remove the protecting sheets at the cover here. Then it will become something like this, where you have the transparent cover so that you can monitor all the activity that is happening inside. All right, back to SC500D. So for the first cover is on the top where you can open the cover by releasing the stainless steel clip at both sides. And it will go up by itself. Clips made of stainless steel 304 good material good quality material and inside you can see that there are two sides of syllaba and it is covered with a teflon sheet where you can replace easily by tearing off it and stick it back just like cellophane tapes and as for the heating element you can easily Replace the heating element by, by unlocking and lock the screw uh, somewhere around here. It's uh, very simple to be operated. So this is from the top of the opening. And as for the side of the opening, there are again two stainless steel clips. So let's see what's inside the cover. So after releasing both clips, you can see, ta -da! whoa, it is actually formed by all together 26 units of foam block where each foam block is around one inches thick, which means that you can actually put something that is around 26 inches height the reason why we have another opening at the side for this specially made machine is cater for those bulk packaging like 25 kgs of packaging where you can where you can put your products into the chamber without using much of your effort because can you imagine if you are going to carry the 25 kgs of bags all the way up from the top here down back to it and when you have done you have to remove the things all the way up and all the way up 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 because it is quite um it is quite tiring that's why we have a side door where you can push your products in from the side now, coming to the control of this SC500D, we have a very simple control system whereby we have an on-off button here and a stop button, which is an emergency button. If you found out that you want to stop the process immediately, just press the stop button. And this is the timer for the vacuum time. This is to control how, how much how, how uh, tight do you want your bags to be? So just by controlling the timer of the vacuum time. And this is the sealing time for sealer number one because inside we have two sealer bar. So this is to control the first sealer bar's time and second sealer bar time. And last but not least, the cooling time. And on the other side of this machine, we have a pressure gauge. This pressure gauge is to show um, the pressure inside the vacuum chamber. 
The good thing about having a simple control like this is that it will actually help you to save costs on the servicing side. Because if anything happened to this machine, any fault, you can always replace the things separately. It says if today the timer function for syllabus number one uh, is at fault. So what you actually have to do is just to replace this timer. Unlike others type of vacuum machines where they have a um, where they have a control board and where it is digital, those if there is anything happening to that, you have to either reprogram it or you have to replace the whole um, whole board, which will cost you a fortune. So that's pretty much about the control. As for the supply side. You only need to use a single phase 13 amps of plugs which we normally use in our own home appliances. This is the Malaysian standard 240 volts. Yes. Now let's see how it works in real operation. So this is the back where I have built in this uh, plastic racing inside as a as a packaging samples and these bags normally if for vacuum machines we will recommend customers to use nylon bag so this is a nylon bag which we already have one opening at the side so what we do normally is by uh, sipping through the plastic bags in between this holder the stainless steel holder where you can adjust the locations you know like this up and down without any lock so just sip it through here under the stainless steel block and on top of the syllabus so the reason why we are having this is to is to hold the plastic bag so that it won't move during the vacuum process okay so very simple you just have to power on the plug then the next thing will be switch on the power button and uh, do the setting let's set this to be around 15 seconds and we are putting the bags at the sealer number one so let's set this material normally it takes only one second to seal it and for safety purpose, if you are not using number two, you can always put it to zero second. And cooling time normally will just suggest customers to use double plus maybe 25% of the um, sealing time. So now we set it to be 2.25 seconds. Okay. So now we are ready. Just close the cover okay and wait for it so now this is the vacuum gauge which is showing the pressure inside it's going into negative yes around here and the ceiling will start and now it's a cooling cycle and done Ta-da! it will go up by itself let's see how is the result Okay, so this is how the ceiling will look like. Very nicely sealed. And the vacuum tightness is also very, very satisfying. If you want it to be slightly looser, not so tight, you can always set the vacuum time to be lower. And if you want even tighter, you can always set the vacuum time to be even higher. So for different size of bags, you can remove. You can remove the foam block. You can remove the foam block one by one. Mm. can remove the foam block one by one as much as you like 
or if it is for the big bag, you can remove the foam block from the side. That's pretty much about this machine. Very simple, yet giving you a very nice ceiling. Thank you very much.